Amazing Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for the year ahead. This is for Sagittarius, those dealing with Sagittarius, wherever you have Sagittarius in your chart, this is your reading, general reading. Take your seat, resonates, beautiful Sag. I have to tell you, when I was starting to get ready for your reading, I became very faffy. I was putting chapstick on my lips. Um, you know, I was for some reason dusting off my phone. I was packing everything right. So it seems like you are definitely busy in clearing out things, cleansing out things, getting things to ready, getting things ready for, for, for better things to come. The one thing that just came up because I got the sun falling out in reverse when I was clarifying this deck for you getting ready. So just be careful that you're not doing the right thing, but for the wrong reasons, that you're not in avoidance mode. Just be careful of that, that something came up, okay? Um, so in this reading, first of all, whenever you see it, it's the right time for you to see it. We're gonna see what is the energy that you enter the year with, what is the transformations that happen in the middle, and then what is the outcome? We're gonna clarify that, and at the end of the reading, we're gonna check out, draw a card and see what are those things in this year that you maybe wanna um, sort of steer clear of, avoid, do, not do, try, not try, you know, so that you don't have unnecessary blockages in your life, unnecessary unhappiness and upset and all of those sort of things, okay? Um, let's see what it is that we have for my beautiful, beautiful Serge. If it's your first time here, I'd like to welcome you. I hope you'll consider, oh, love that. I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Whoa, Serge! Could this be the most powerful reading I ever did for you? If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it with every part of my being. For those of you interested in card readings, there's some card reading courses. There's links in the description. There's a link for my free Oracle card reading course, spiritual development. There's a, you know, um, there's some free material with all the paid courses that can be very beneficial for you. So check it out. All right, energy that you're coming into this year with Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, and the High Priestess. I get the feeling it's like, it's calm, it's balanced, it's beautiful, but it's also not. So I don't know if this is like a bit of a smoke screen, if you are, you know, just applying hopeful thinking, deceiving yourself, doing the best that you can. Not yet clear, we're gonna see when we clarify. But what I do see and also remember, we're focusing predominantly on love, but also everything around love, all right? Love, it's important to understand this. Love is not a freestanding energy. And in tarot, a lot of times, it is approached in that way, which isn't, like a lot of times people, I think they feel that if we zoom in on something specific, then it makes it more powerful. But when you zoom in on one thing and you sort of like ignore everything else or neglect it, then it's no longer whole. You know, it's almost like saying that you want to have an ice cube without the cold. That the, the two just don't match, you know? Um, so Ace of Wands, I, I, I love this more than anything else. I see Saw stepping in. I see you having this higher appreciation of yourself, this higher value of yourself, this just taking no shit, you know? Saying this is who I am. And you can be on board with us and we can do this together. But if you don't honor me, if you don't value me, if you don't appreciate me, I bounce. I'm out of here. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay. For some reason, it went in reverse. So I'm going to leave it in reverse. But what comes up for me with that is don't be afraid to be yourself and to express yourself and to speak your mind, even if others don't agree. All right. The world is filled with people who's going to be very happy um, and very ambitious even to let you know what a skabanger you are. Don't you get on the wagon yourself as well, okay? Then we got the Six of Cups. Um, there's something beautiful that is growing here from seeming calamity, from chaos. So if you are feeling very much at the end of your road, calling for higher power there with the High Priestess, which is a communicative energy, a Mercury energy ideas, energy, call it for higher power, call it for assistance, call upon spirit, call upon the universe to give the answer to you, all right? Be very mindful, of, uh, uh, you know, to act from ego, to act from anger, fear, you know? They shouldn't tell me, I'm not gonna let them tell me, who do they think they are? Because then you go into a space where regardless what happened, 
that you don't sort of, you know, st that you're not in an equal standing with both of you being an expression of the universe expressing itself in human form. So be careful of the ego um, in a sense that I don't care what other people say, it's just me. Be careful of very much me against the world type of energy, okay? That is, that's poisonous. That's not going to work out for you, okay? Um, you can honor yourself. You can stand in your power. You can absolutely take no nonsense from nobody. But just be mindful that you don't become um, one of those people that's almost like it's my way or the, or the highway type of thing. And if you don't agree with me, then you're against me. People have got the right to disagree. And sometimes if we listen, not to defend, not to argue, not to hit back, but, you know, even if you think that you're speaking to the biggest idiot on the planet, the biggest loser, the biggest whatever, maybe they've got something there that if you listen with a mind that is not just wanting to judge, maybe they've got something there that can be helpful and constructive for you, okay? Um, transformative stage through the year. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Page of Swords. So, this is something that you want to be aware of. So, it could be the other person, but I get it, mostly you, Sagittarius, where you're saying, you know what, we can build something together, we can build something beautiful together, we can build something strong together, have like a stronghold against the world. I, I like the ideas that you have. What I want you to be mindful of is that I is that you maybe you're all pumped up and all excited about something, but the moment another person is not in agreement with you, then you 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 kind of put them in the, you know, in this um, how do you say this enemy of the state type of category. Doesn't have to be that extreme, okay? I can see someone reaching out for love. I can see you being in love with someone despite maybe wanting to be, wanting to make it work out. And you can, but just take your discernment with you. Let your heart do its thing, but make sure that your head goes with you in equal measure. You know, a lot of people think that Sag is so damn cold, which it's, it's really the direct opposite, okay? So, you know, a lot of times people will say don't get into relationships and connections if you are lonely and whatever. But the thing is a lot of people in this world are lonely. So you can acknowledge, yes, I'm lonely. Yes, I'd like to have love. I don't want to grow old together. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to take life on my own. I just want somebody in my corner even if they don't do anything, they're there so I'm not alone. You can have all of that. But just be careful that you, that, that you don't go into that space where you almost feel that love equates this person doing everything the way that you want it. That is not love, that is dictatorship. Okay, and that's not gonna end well for you. But I do also see you getting that lesson, ending out here, you're really taking your sweet time with us. The hero of three of cups, eight of wands. You do have some difficult decisions that you need to make with love, but I do see that you and your person, you can definitely make it work. Not easy, but you can definitely make it work, all right? Um, and I see that eventually, eventually, you are working through all your troubles, all your challenges, all your things. And I feel that this is really happening because for many of you, it's always easy to point a finger towards the other person, you know? But I see that for many of you, you're really bringing it home and say, okay, how are we collectively contributing to what it is that we have that we don't like? And that is where the easiest solutions come through for you. That is where you work together. That is where you become very powerful together because that is what I see for you, beautiful Sash, a powerful connection that not only you benefit from it, like the two of you, but everything else, everyone else, you become, it's a power couple vibe, okay? Everyone's better just for you being in the space. In the room, even if you already left the room and they come in there afterwards, you leave this positive energy. So the two of you, amazingly, okay? Um, let's clarify that energy that you bring into the year, especially looking at that Ace of Cups, they decided it's gonna flip around. So the Six of Swords, the lover's energy, Gemini energy, choice energy, six energy. So six and six. So there's big possible turnarounds here. 
Maybe some of you are having a spiritual encounter, someone from the past going to see a spiritual medium, your own spirituality unlocking. And even something like, uh, you know, like with spiritual mediumship, people always feel that, you know, spiritual medium has to see this person in front of them. But sometimes it could, you know, they would even sometimes say things like, um, go look in their drawer and you'll find something over there that will confirm to you that this is me sending a message. And it could be practically anything, but it will be of profound um, and undeniable um, sort of value to you as a person. So be open to that sort of communication, okay? Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your psychic connection. There's a lot of power that you can tap into at this particular moment for some reason. There's a lot of power that you can tap into. Don't try to define it. Don't try to classify and categorize it. If you're going to work with someone, I would say initially maybe don't do it. But if you're going to work with someone, work with someone that that is not trying to define your connection of what it should be. Okay? So that is coming up there for you, definitely. What is happening in, in a transformative space throughout the year? There's the sun energy. So things are definitely working out for you across the board. Miracles coming through, higher self coming through. And that is once again why you're so strongly encouraged to not go against the connection, the flow that the universe is trying to establish with you right now, my beautiful Sag. Because the beautiful thing about a psychic connection, which is really as normal to everybody as breathing, you know, um, once you flow with it, the goodies in life just flows to you because you are connected to your higher self, to the universe, to the matrix, but it's all you. So it's you getting guidance, connection, safety, protection from you. Okay? What else do we have? One from the top of the deck, one from the bottom of the deck, five of ones. So there is still a bit of conflict between you and your person, but also there's conflict within yourself. Unresolved things within yourself. I feel for many of you, you have been deflecting your unhealed patterns onto someone else in love. And that I see drawing to an end, which I love. The three of wands. Maybe the person that you were, the person that you end up with, they're not the person that you imagined yourself being with. But I can tell you one thing for a fact. If you can put your faith in the universe, you are getting the person who is the ideal match for you. How's the unfolding? Look at you, ace of wands. Learning to love without reservations like fear, without the exit plan. So first and foremost, this is about loving yourself, appreciating yourself, understanding yourself. So you are learning a lot about yourself in this year. And because you are getting the clarity about yourself and learning to really love yourself, that is why you are becoming that natural magnet for that powerful love. Temperance, energy, Sagittarius, this is your energy. Um, it's about knowledge and philosophy, the highest good coming to you. So this is a powerful year for you, Five of Pentacles. And you are even seeing more ways in which you can expand, more ways in which you can grow, because now you're beginning to get the formula. See what it is? Feel the emotions, don't blame the self, don't blame the others, work through what you need to work through, cry the cry, whatever. And then, you know, tapping into that higher power, the next level. This is a powerful year for you, very formative, very transformative. And if you're on board with your highest good, all this amazing good is, claim it for yourself by placing your hands on your heart, taking a nice deep breath and saying yes to it. Things that you want to look out for throughout this year, such as there is things that you want to be aware of, things that can cause trouble, disharmony, concerns, the magician. Don't tone yourself down. Don't, um, don't sort of not want to shine too bright because what if it sort of makes another person feel icky and icky and stuff like that. This is a recipe for disaster. Shine, be bright, be clear, Go for your heart's desires. Go for your hopes. Go for your wishes. Go for your dreams. Speak your mind clearly. Just don't be a bastard in the process, you know, or a bitch. But speak what you want. Be clear. This is to others, to the universe, and to yourself. Which means this is also definitely a year of introspection. And also open to broader communication. That psychic connection of you is expanding and growing in profound, beautiful ways. So there's lots and lots to look forward to for you in this year. And so it is. May it be the most amazing year of your life 
making your life get better and better all the time. May the rest of your life be the best of your life, beautiful Sash. And so it is. Namaste, love and light. See you next week. Bye.